Again, Paul Dottino had a chance to sit down with a couple of Mountain Legends before the ball game. Well, Dave, we are with two very special guests today, two members of the first class of the NEC Hall of Fame. As you know, the NEC is celebrating its 30th anniversary, and two of the eight inductees are here with me today, legendary coach Jim Phelan from Mount St. Mary's and Peter Rono, the legendary runner from Mount St. Mary's. Now, Jim, of course, with 830 career lifetime victories, fifth on the all-time coaching list. And Jim, you know, so many people ask about people who have influenced you. Who is the one person you believe you've had the greatest influence on? Well, possibly on Fred Carter, who coached and then played in the NBA, and uh, a number of uh, my former players who, uh, contributed so much to my success and you start naming them you always forget a few so uh, with Neymar one NBA player and kind of leave it at that I had so many great players it's hard to pick out I'm gonna ask you about a different kind of player in just a minute but Peter I'd want to ask you the same question uh, you have won an Olympic gold medal it was in the 1500 meters back in Seoul in 1988 who do you think you've had the most impact on by virtue of winning that gold well, for me, uh, two people actually uh, my great heroes. One of them is uh, Kip Kano from uh, my, my country, who is my hero. And then the second one is uh, the greatest distant miler, Jim Ryan uh, from Kansas sure. in the United States. You know, those are the people who I had to follow suit and see that I do what they did. Well now, you of course were here at Mount St. Mary's while Jim was coaching. I think everybody was here while you were coaching Jim, 49 years. If you were a coach, what traits of Coach Phelan would you have adapted to become a coach perhaps in track and field or cross country? Well, uh, Coach Phelan, obviously, you know, when I came here, these are the people that I looked up to, you know, they did great work, you know, in terms of uh, making Mount St. Mary's what it is, uh, together with, you know, my coach, uh, uh, who they've been here together for quite some time, uh, Jim Deegan. Those were the people that I thought, you know, made the Mount what it has been. You know, great, great human beings and uh, in how they've influenced other athletes and of course including myself. Peter, i got to ask you to hold up that medal for just a second and show the camera because folks, you don't get a chance to see one of these very often and it is absolutely gorgeous, very precious. Even Coach Phelan was telling me a second ago as he was looking at it, what kind of player would he have been had he been a basketball player instead of a long distance runner? Well, he'd been in the NBA too, <laughs> at the top of the league. You know, his game. It's a very impressive thing to look at that medal and obviously being an Olympic champion is one thing. 800 plus wins for you is another. Jim, do you ever think about one particular victory time and time again as you, as you enjoy your retirement years? Uh, probably several of them stick out in my mind. The first one was my trip to Philadelphia in my second year playing Villanova in the Palestra and beating them by 17 points. That was a big one. Uh, championship in 1962, uh, national championship, was another big one. Winning the Northeast Conference Championship in 95 and 99, they were big. Beating Georgia Tech uh, down there in, in, in Atlanta, sure. uh, that was another big win. Uh, those are the, the ones that really stick out in my mind. There were, you know, a hundred other games that were spectacular, but I don't remember all of them. Well, now, both of you are going into the NEC Hall of Fame, and I say this is a big deal because you are members of the first class. There's only one first of anything. I mean, Babe Ruth was in the first class of Baseball Hall of Famers. What does that mean to both of you, even though you've had so many other wonderful awards throughout your careers? Right. To me, it, it stands out as very big in my lifetime because I'm in quite a few Halls of Fame, including the College Hall of Fame, but this is the first one where I'm in the first class, and that's really something else. Uh, I've got to say, other than my grade school, St. Monica's, <laughs> Paul Arizon and I went in in the first class, and Tommy Locker and the fighter. <laughs> so, Peter, how does it make you feel? Well, for me, it feels me, uh, it makes me feel great because you know I started it at the Mount, uh, you know, this conference, and uh, I won it, or I won the Olympics when I was at this conference. So it means a lot to me you know, to be done here at home. This is my second home. And uh, you know, this conference, I think, is a big, it makes me feel special. Well, I, you know, you mentioned the Northeast Conference. When, when you now go on in your, in your later years and you talk about the conference, what memories will you take from being in this conference that you'll always be able to share with other people? 
Well, for me, competing for the mound at uh, Northeast Conference and uh, competing with other schools that were in the same conference was a great, a great thing, you know, as an athlete. I started here, kept on moving, going to the pen relays, representing the mound. To me, that was the greatest thing, and I will always cherish it. And Jim, even though so many of your years were outside of the conference, still you spent some time here as well. Oh, since 1988, sure. and it's been a long time. And uh, it, it was exciting because it was our first venture into a Division I league. We'd always competed against Division I teams, but this was the first full-time exposure as a Division I team in a Division I conference. It was exciting and challenging because we got our heads handed to us any number of times. <laughs> well, folks, congratulations on a terrific honor, and it's just great to have you here today. Well, it's nice Thank to be here. So Jim Phelan and Peter Rono. They're Hall of Famers. Dave, back to you. Yes, they are, and just moments ago, honored on the court here at Knott Arena, being presented with their Hall of Fame plaques by Commissioner Noreen Morris and a standing ovation from the crowd here at Knott. You can see his banner hanging up in the rafters. Coach Jim Phelan, the man with the bow tie, 830 career victories.